Pop in, checking out the ring. Pop in, chopping up game to keep them laughing. Pop in, pop in, you the carriages, show stop in, prop in, up a wheel and maybe air drop in. Break in, haters off, can't even stay in for fake in. Fools are the ones that say in, play in. Narrow one of these, we just make in, fake in. Up the bottle to a fat cake in. Mash in, from the scene, almost crash in, flash in. Cop lights, keep a player dash in. Cash in, on the crack, plus paper stash in. We the bash in, my high price flash in. My thank it, clothes in, my 80 foes crank it. God thank it. Thank you, appreciate yeah. it. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. RP Jeezy strikes again guys all right quick story on this one dark cloud on the PlayStation 2 it's complete uh, in Mackenzie shape now um, where they normally keep games at on the shelf uh, towards the back of the store they had nothing of interest to me I was about to leave and I almost missed this game because it was mixed in with some blu-rays on the glass end cap next to the register um, asked the cashier to, to pull it out so I could take a look at it and then I noticed that it had a hot pink sticker the infamous hot pink sticker which means you don't get any 30% off on it it's not part of the four colors uh, and it was priced $19.99 guys so I, t I told her I said man I can't believe this is priced so high she immediately said hey the manager's really cool about that if that's not priced uh, close to correctly then I'm sure he'll lower it and I told her, I said, well, you know, he's not going to lower it to $3. That's really where my price point is at. And she's like, nah, you never know. So she immediately calls him on the microphone. He comes over. Uh, he starts looking on his phone. I'm like, oh, great. Here he goes. He's going on eBay. So I have that price chart app on my phone. So um, I pulled that up. I already had that pulled up. So under loose, it says 10 bucks. So I told the dude, I was like, look, man, I, I even showed up my phone. I was like, look, it's only worth $10. So uh, he was like, oh, yeah, I was about to go to that website. So I was thinking that was kind of funny. But so anyway, he said, you know what? I'll lower it. But uh, I told him, I said, well, can you lower it to three? He's like, nah, I can lower it to four ninety nine. I shook his hand. I said, you got a deal. So the reason why that is not just a good pickup for me, that's a great pickup. If you remember from watching my factory sealed video, I actually have Dark Cloud Greatest Hits version factory sealed. So I'm gonna be selling that for $40 to $50 and keeping this for my collection. So it uh, ends up real good for me. All right, guys, on to the next one. Back when, and everybody say, I'll throw down with me back when, what, back in the days, when, 
Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the game room. Welcome to the recap. Uh, was not a super uh, busy week. I only picked up a few items, but very, very nice items here, guys. Um, now, my cousins came down from Massachusetts, so we've been having a blast. So I wanted to upload this yesterday, but did not have time. We're actually going to an early Astros game today, so I wanted to finish up my editing on this. So hopefully you guys will have something on Sunday to watch uh, from me. So, uh, don't have much time because we're leaving to the Astros game pretty soon. So I'm going to be real fast about this. The first pickup here is descent on the PC. This is sealed guys. Um, I thought about passing up on it, but for only a dollar looked it up on price charting and five of these sold last year for an average of about 25, 26 bucks sealed like this. Will I end up getting that much for it? Probably not. But uh, maybe I'll get fifteen twenty for it for a dollar. It was worth taking the risk. Uh, know nothing about Descent, or actually, this is Descent Three. So, know nothing about PC. So, uh, have seen that game out in the wild in a jewel case, loose before, but never in the big box like that. Uh, the next pickup here is Dark Cloud, and like I explained earlier, I do have the factory sealed version of this on the Greatest Hits, so that's already up online. Uh, I think I have one watcher on that already, so. Uh, Pretty soon that'll sell and I'll be able to recoup everything that I spent this week and have a few extra dollars to put in my pocket. Uh, Dark Cloud, this is a really nice copy of it. It's complete, obviously the black label edition. The disc is in Mackenzie shape. I'll show you that real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's basically flawless. Um, from what I hear, I've never played Dark Cloud 1. I know there's some diehards out there that are very nostalgic about it. But I have played Dark Cloud 2, and I think the majority of people feel like Dark Cloud 2 is a, a much improved version of this game. Uh, but, you know, let me know in the comments below if you played either of them. I've only played Dark Cloud 2, and I've played probably an hour into it, and it seems like a really, really good game. And I'm not an RPG player, even though I'm RPGesus, or RPGZ. Anyhow, moving on. So the next pickup here, the next two games that I'm going to show you are... 
Very, very nice. Uh, from the same half price books I keep on hitting up on the, on the RPGs. Uh, this game right here is called Kingsfield 2. Uh, pretty uncommon game from my understanding. Uh, I didn't get a stellar, stellar deal like the next one I'm going to show you, but this goes online for like $24, $25, bucks and I only paid $14.99. I couldn't leave it behind picking up the other game. Um, let me open this up and show you real quick here. I think the story on this game right here, Kingsfield 2, is... Uh, in Japan, they released Kingsfield, and then after that, in America, they released uh, Kingsfield 2, or they released a second Kingsfield, and they just called it Kingsfield. So actually, Kingsfield 2 was actually Kingsfield 1, and this is Kingsfield 2, so this is actually the third game uh, in the series, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, Kingsfield... Uh, and also something cool about this, this game right here is from, and now I can't remember the name, from the, uh, uh, the makers, uh, this is the predecessor to the Demon Souls and, uh, Dark Souls series. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so if you like Dark Souls and Demon Souls, this is a game that you might want to try to find on the, uh, PlayStation 1. So yeah, $14.99 on that, found that at the Half Price Books, very excited about picking this one up. Uh, and definitely want to try it out too. All right, now what we've all come here for Ark the Lad collection, guys. So, as we discussed in the previous videos, it says as is, so they and even they even wrote on there no art book, so that's why I got such a killer deal on it. $19.99. Now, guys, I'm already uh watching on eBay, I think it ends tomorrow. A very cheap, uh, nice condition art book for this that I'm probably going to have to pay about 10 bucks for. It's kind of a niche thing, so that it doesn't have any, um, no one's bid on it yet, so I'm hoping I can get it for 10 bucks. but I'll let you guys know about that so I can complete this gem right here. Uh, art the Lad Collection, it's, uh, I think it has six discs. It has four amazing RPGs on it. So let's open this up, let's unbox it so you guys can check it out. Hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that guys. Let, I guess let me show you all the artwork first. The box is not in, you know, epic shape, but it's in good shape for something that's cardboard. Turn that around up here. Wanted poster. I mean, another, I think that's, so I have, so now I have three of the big box work and design games for the PlayStation 1. So, man, you don't know how happy I, happy I am about picking this one up. I think this has the same as the other work and designs titles. Yep, it has the Velcro. Some more stuff there. Now let's open this baby up. So, again, we have the Omaki box. So that's one of the characters and let me see so stuff doesn't fly everywhere I think it has like a magnet yeah it does all right so inside of here uh, these are actually for the analog sticks you can put these on it so it has all four of the analog stick uh, little artsy deals right there uh, it has the the standy cards factory sealed so that's very nice and then it has a it's not a memory card but it's for a memory card you put your memory card in there uh, when you're playing Ark the Lad so a memory card holder so that's pretty cool and then we have the game now the game has some issues there's some there's a crack at the top right there uh, I'll probably re replace the case. I got a lot of these dual cases like this. Um, the artwork's a little bit weathered in some areas, but overall, not in bad shape at all. Hopefully everything doesn't fly out of here. So you can see a little bit of weathering on here. Uh, so there's the first one. Uh, Arc 
This is Ark Arena Monsters Tournament. And let's see if I can open this up without... There's so many discs in this thing. And then we have... All the discs are in very nice shape. We have, I guess, Ark the Lad. This is the first game. Then we have Ark the Lad 2. I mean, look how nice those discs are. I mean, Orca Designs does, does such a great job. And then we have Ark the Lad 3. And disc 2 for Ark the Lad 3. I think that's it. So yeah, it's five disc. Seems like there was another one, but whatever. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, it's one of my best pickups in a long time. Uh, so as you can see over there, I have the the other two. I need the uh, big cardboard box for uh, Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Uh, and there's a couple of items I need to get for those. I'm probably going to complete all three of them. And uh, yeah, that's what's up. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Goodwill Video Game Hunting, Episode 63, The Ark.